What is up guys, MMA Professor here to do a video on, which it's always good to do a video on uh, prospects, uh, uh, EBW returns, EB Dubs was the first one to ask me to do it, thought it was a great idea, then, so I'm going to do a response to his, and then Byron Giant, uh, aka the most grizzled man on the planet, just did a video asking what is your prospects? And I was going to do the video anyways, so I will do a response to you. And uh, the first one I will say, uh, Byron's an asshat, and he stole my idea. So uh, the first prospect, right out the gate, Lyle, fancy pants beer bomb. He is 13-0. and 0, um, most finishes, I think he's got uh, one decision, he's got a bunch of TKOs, and uh, some subs. Um, he fights at 155, and his biggest wins are against uh, Dwayne Bang Ludwig, who he beat recently in Strike Force, I believe, and uh, Rafael Oliveira, who is going to be fighting in the UFC soon. So, um, And he won those both by finish in the first round. Um, he's a good, almost great wrestler, a good top game, good jujitsu. His style is, his, he's a cardio machine. He comes at you. He tries to put you in bad spots constantly and break you, and he often does. Plus, he's got an awesome nickname, which makes sense because his shorts, uh, his shorts are pound for pound, the best shorts in MMA. Best shorts in MMA. So, there's that. Um, second guy. I know a lot of people probably know who he is or have talked about him. And he's fighting out of Poland. He fights at 205. And that is Mamed Kaladov. And he is 19-3. and three. Uh, 8 TKOs, 10 submissions. Uh, his two losses are two subs, two, two, uh, two K, uh, TKOs. He's beaten, um, you know, Jason Guida, uh, I guess is, would be a big win. Um, he, I, he's got a win over, uh, Crow Cops, uh, one of Crow Cops' training partners, Igor Pakr Pakrovjak, Pakrovjak something like that, uh, who's also fighting in the UFC. Um, not a lot of other guys people would, re uh, you know, recognize. Um, he's good stand-up. He throws some wicked um, spinning back kicks and some weird kicks. Uh, obviously, good grappler, good striking, just good overall. Um, very good fighter. And a lot of people have been pushing for him to be get into the UFC or a bigger promotion because I think he should, you know, try to step up in competition. Um, so, anyways, uh, number three, Rory McDonald. He is eight and zero. He's fighting out of he's uh, Canada. He's the king of the cage, Canada lightweight champion, and uh, his biggest win is over Clay French right now who trains under Matt Hughes at the Hit Squad. Um, very well-rounded. He's uh, only, to, I think he just turned 20 years old. Uh, good Muay Thai, good boxing, good Jiu-Jitsu, good wrestling. He is, that, he is the definition of pros right there. 20 years old, and he's that talented. He's going to be very good. Um, I mean, there's not really much else you can say <laughs> about how good uh, how good he is. Um, now, my third or fourth one is I'm going to be a uh, homer on this one and uh, mention a guy who trains at my gym. I know he's fought in the WEC once already. He's got an upcoming fight with Razor Rob McCullough um, on the WEC 44 card, I believe. Um, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Fights at 155. He's the Gladiator Fighting Challenge Series. 155-pound uh, champion. He 
his striking is sick, his grappling is sick, he's got heart and cardio, and he is just amazingly good. Uh, I've seen, I saw a fight, um, his third professional fight, where he got taken down and injured his shoulder pretty badly. The guy took him down in a side control. Pettis uh, stood up within 30 seconds and KO'd him with a head kick. Uh, he is going to be amazingly good. He's got a black belt in uh, Taekwondo, I believe, and uh, he's got his own gym also in Milwaukee. Anthony Showtime Pettis, he is your next champion at 155 pounds in the WBC. So there you go. And uh, also uh, getting a mention is going to be his brother Sergio, who is his younger brother. And uh, he just had a fight where he KO'd somebody with a head kick. And he is also going to be really good once he turns pro. Um, so those are my picks. Um, I don't know how many we were supposed to do, four or five or whatnot. But those are the ones that I could come up with uh, all obviously are very well-rounded and all of them are going to be very awesome or are already starting to be awesome uh so yeah um mine are probably better than everybody else's unless you pick the same ones that i do and that's just copyright man you shouldn't do that you should come up with your own ideas i know mine are good but you know uh Stay metal. Later.